Hey guys, it's your girl Kareen and I'm back for another video. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about ways to stay excited during your lock journey. I know a lot of times we get bored with our locks, but I'm here today to share some tips with you on how to stay motivated and excited during your lock journey. So if you'd like to hear more about this, please stay tuned for the video. to my channel. If you don't know me and this is your first time being here, I am Kareen and this channel is all things lock, all things beauty, and all things lifestyle. So if you're interested in those things, please take a few minutes and go ahead and like this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get started. Okay, so today's video is about ways to keep you excited during your lock journey. I know some of y'all looking at me like, girl, I'm getting ready to comb these things out. I'm getting ready to go back to the relaxer. Whatever your hiccup is right now, whatever is causing you to take a pause and reevaluate your lock journey, I am here to ignite you and let you know that there are still options. As you can see, I have a lock style today. Now, y'all know I'm always thinking of ways on how to fix my locks up, how to keep them neat how to keep, keep me engaged and keep me excited about my lock journey. And that is one way you can do that. Number one, styling your locks. You would be surprised how many times I hear ladies say, girl, I, I, I want to lock my hair, but I just like to switch it up too much. And that ain't going to be for me because locks is too permanent and you can't do. Sis, save your breath because locks are so versatile. I want y'all to get into this style that I have here. Now, keep in mind, before y'all come for me in the comments, this style is two, yes, two weeks old. So, let's get into it. So, this is a lock bang that I have here. And this is like a, a barrel bun. But I'm going to turn around so y'all can get the full extent of this style. Get into her. Get into her. Yes, get into her, ladies. Get into her, gentlemen. This style, I saw a picture of this style done on another young lady. I'm not sure how long her locks were, but as most of you know, my locks are almost at waist length, right? So I'm always looking for ways to get it off of my neck. It's hot right now, so I'm always looking for ways to get it up and away, and I thought this would be a perfect style to do. So, lock, styling your locks is tip number one to keep you excited about your lock journey. With me, I tend to get bored, and even before I lock my hair, I always like to try new styles. So, trying new styles for me helps me to not get bored with my locks and helps me to stay motivated because I'm, I'm always looking for the next style. <laughs> when is it going to be? <laughs> Oh, where is it? What, what are we doing next is my question, okay? So making sure that if you can, making sure that you are styling your locks. Tip number two, let's get into it. Tip number two on ways to not get bored during your lock journey, have fun. Don't be so uptight about your locks. Don't be so, oh, what am I gonna do? I don't want it to break off. I don't want... Girl, relax and have fun with your locks. I know in the beginning of the lock journey, everybody's so nervous. They, you know, you trying to figure out, is this for me? You know, all the things are going through your mind during your lock journey. Relax and enjoy the journey. You won't get bored if you just enjoy the journey. Enjoy allowing your hair to do what it's naturally supposed to do. Yes, it's going to start to frizz. Yes, it's going to start to swell. All of those beautiful, beautiful changes that your locks are going through is actually for their good. And your hair is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So relax and enjoy the journey. Tip number three. Tip number three on not being bored is exploring different options with headbands, come on, hats, and scarves. Those items can be your best friend, especially on those days when you're not feeling so confident with your locks. You can style your locks by adding a headband, a scarf, or a hat. I'm telling you, those accessories, accessorizing, can make or break your day. Even on those days where you feel like, I think I'm about to comb these out. I think I'm about to... what. 
what, whenever you are in doubt, use accessories. Accessories can be your best friend. Y'all know I love rocking hats. I love my fedoras. And, and I insert some pictures so you can see me rocking my fedoras because, you know, I'm just a hat girl, especially in the fall when it's a little crisp outside. Now, I don't know about rocking no hat in the summer, but you can. I'm not, that's when you do your scarves, your beautiful print scarves and what, you know, the, you know, if you want to put them around your edges and have them hang over here, those are always options. But baby, we are, we are in August. We are getting ready to go into these fall months and baby, a Camel fedora will do it for you, baby. A dark, deep brown or a burnt orange fedora. Girl. Papetta be sick of me, okay? But y'all get what I'm saying. Accessorize, accessorize to keep yourself from being bored. All right, now I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed recording it. As always, I love you all so, so much for watching. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm putting out videos at least once a week and I'm going to start expanding this channel, y'all. I'm going. If you have not followed me on Instagram, please go over and follow me on Instagram. I have so many amazing reels that I'm going to be posting as well as content that's going to keep you excited about your lock journey and kind of give you some inspo when it comes to fashion as well. So follow me there on Instagram at Kareen underscore Gardner, okay? Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can see the content that I'm putting out. And I am so excited about the direction of this channel. Thank you so much for all of my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the family and to all of my OGs. You know what it is, girl. Thank you for being here. All right. As always, I love you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.